everyone, this is Doria, I'm a teacher of English and today I will talk to you about cohesion and coherence and how you can achieve that in your writings. But first of all, what is cohesion and coherence and why you should care? Both cohesion and coherence have to do with the organization of your ideas and how smoothly one idea follows the previous, the previous one for the reader basically how relatively linked they are together and how smoothly they follow one another so as uh, for the reader to follow a logical train or of thought and not some unrelated ideas here and there uh, linked with each other without any meaning. So far so good. So what is the difference between them? Why do we need to use two words, cohesion and coherence, in order to describe the same thing. Well, basically because coherence means uh, and has to do with the organization of your whole essay and its structure as a complete writing, while cohesion has to do with the smaller parts, how the sentences and their smaller parts are linked with each other, how correctly they are linked in this way. So, uh, simply put, coherence is about the whole of your essay, while cohesion is about the smaller parts. As you can understand, both coherence and cohesion are interrelated with each other and they complete each other. Now, why you should care? Well, basically because cohesion and coherence take 25% of your bond in writing, in your IELTS writing. This is a huge percent. What is more, if your essay lacks in cohesion and coherence, you're more likely to make more mistakes in other areas as well. So, let's go and see and examine what you can do in order to achieve cohesion and coherence in your writing. Let's start with coherence, which is about your writing as a whole. So, Tip number one about coherence. First of all, paragraphs, paragraphs, paragraphs. Please don't forget that. This is extremely important. Your essay should be uh, separated with clear paragraphs and uh, in this way the structure will be very easy to follow for the examiner. Try to have a clear introduction, two to three main paragraphs for the main body of your essay and a clear conclusion where you sum up your main points. It is also very good for the examiner at first sight to see a very well uh, structure, uh, structured essay, okay? Second tip, concentrate on the logical flow of your paragraph. Now, it is not enough to have separated paragraphs if these paragraphs are not related and linked with each other in a logical sequence. You can't just express unrelated ideas on a given topic and put them together uh, just in order to show how much you can say on a given topic. Uh, because it isn't about how much you can say, but it is about how well you can say that. So, for example, you need to follow a certain plan. If you want to talk about advantages and disadvantages, use, uh, after your introduction, use one paragraph to analyze one advantage, and then another paragraph to analyze another advantage, and then if you want to move on to disadvantages, you can do that in your next paragraph. Um, these uh, advantages and disadvantages should be related with each other with linking phrases. For example, uh, between paragraphs. For example, if you want to add another advantage, you can start your next paragraph by saying furthermore, what is more, I will, one other point I would like to mention is, you have lots of uh, options there. If you want to state a disadvantage, then you can say on the other hand, however, uh, another point that we should consider um, and you have other options in stating disadvantages or the opposite point as well. Use these linking phrases to connect paragraphs with each other. Of course, not all essays are going to be about advantages and disadvantages. However, this is a, just an example in order to help you. We, you can do that uh, with a discussion essay as well, when you want to mention something different or when you want to add another point. Just um, remember, to follow a logical sequence with your paragraphs. Now, let's move on to cohesion, which is about the smaller parts uh, of your essay, your sentences. Tip number one, in each paragraph, 
concentrate on only one point. Don't start talking about or relate lots of different points in one single paragraph that are uh, unrelated with each other. Just use one point, analyze that a little bit, elaborate on it, uh, give examples and your reasons why you believe it is that way, why this is your opinion, and then um, move on to the next paragraph which, is, which will be about a different point. So remember, only one argument in each paragraph. Try to keep it that way. Tip number two. Now, about the sentences. I know that in uh, IELTS writing, especially in task two, you are asked to write in a complex way using more advanced syntax. And uh, I can help you do that step by step in this video over here, how to write more complex sentences. However, sometimes when you try to do that, by yourself or uh, even when you're not sure about it, you end up with convoluted sentences that make absolutely no sense. So uh, what can really help you here is to follow your train of thought step by step. Always keep in your mind what is your verb, what is your subject, what is your main sentence and sentence step by step and what you're trying to say, okay? Correct punctuation can really, really help you with that. What I mean by punctuation, I mean your commas and your full stops. Be ready to use your commas uh, to separate main sentences with uh, dependent clauses and stuff like that. These uh, commas and full stops will really, really help you to be as much cohesive as you can. Tip number three. As we said before, it is great to use linking phrases and words in between paragraphs in order to link them together and be more coherent. However, I would advise you not to overdo it. Uh, in a single paragraph. Try not to use lots of linking phrases in a single uh, paragraph when you analyze a point. Uh, I would advise you just to use for example or for instance when you want to state an example in order to defend your argument, but try not to overdo it with linking phrases in just one paragraph because sometimes you may achieve the opposite result. You, your reader may be distracted with too many linking phrases in uh, five or six lines. You should be able to use syntax instead of linking phrases in the paragraph in order to be more cohesive. For example, you can use pronouns, uh, you can use uh, who, which, that, you can use dependent clauses and uh, lots of syntactical rules in order to help you be more co cohesive and avoid the excessive use of linking phrases throughout your essay. Now, let's recap for both cohesion and coherence. Uh, number one, please don't forget your paragraphs. Number two, uh, use linking phrases in order to link your paragraphs. Number three, don't forget to have and maintain a logical sequence of paragraphs. Number four, elaborate on only one point in each single paragraph. Number five, don't forget about your punctuation. Use your commas and your full stops wisely. Number six, link your sentences with each other with syntax rather than with the use of lots of linking phrases. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps. If this is your first time here, I would like to see you subscribe for more videos related to English. If you have any questions or comments, you can ask me here or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and of course my website. All links are down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.